Hello, beautiful Aries, and welcome to your message. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. Welcome in. I'm Erica, a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess. If you're new here, welcome to the Soul Familia. The energy resonates. Definitely be sure to join the tribe. Thank you ahead of time for all of your love and support. And those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. All right, for Aries. Aries, we have the full moon in Virgo tomorrow, the snow moon. We're in the 222 portal. Very powerful time. I'm getting a very cleansing time. All right, so we're going to see. Some of you guys may need to definitely do some shadow work release with this full moon. I definitely will be. No doubt. Hello. Can we get for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know at this time? Nothing will come of this situation. Immediately I heard you got to let it go. Okay, so for some of you guys, cross watcher, take the roles as they resonate. This could be you, but Aries, I do feel that there's some stuff like I just got done saying where you may have to be doing some release work with the moon because void, of course, smooth. It's like it's letting you know here like some something in your life isn't working or something needs to be redirected, released. It feels like a release. It feels like you need to let it go. That's what I heard. This could be a job, a way of thinking, habits, your daily routine. Like you may have to switch something up. Okay, if you feel like you've hit like a dead end, like you just keep hitting the same wall over and over and over again or something's not like really working here. Okay, it's about course correction here. Okay, so something is not going to... Someone's having a realization too, I think, Aries. I think maybe for some of you guys, like if this is you, if it's not you, someone you connect to, I think someone's like realizing this and I think this is just confirmation of like something, like this isn't working in my life. Like nothing's gonna come from this. Like why do I keep putting energy and time into this? Or why do I worry about this? See, and then the next one is the waxing crescent, have faith in your dreams. Okay, so it's like nothing's going to come out of this situation, but I have faith in something else. I have faith in my dreams. I have faith in rebirth, transformation, beauty, happiness, joy, whatever it is. There's a course correction happening here, whether that's for you or like I said, someone you connect to. Um, where are my... Excuse me one moment, guys. I'm... What are my romance angel cards? There they are. Hold on one second. There's definitely love vibes here for sure. And I am honing in on that too. You know, like I just want to get like an overall message for you guys, but also like what's going on in love. So I'm going to check in with that. With some Doreen, Doreen Virtue, Romance Angels. Have faith in your dreams, Aries. I'm also getting something's coming to fruition here. So maybe something is like, nothing's coming of this situation, but over here, I feel like you guys, I feel like this is confirmation too, Aries, of like the fact that a lot of you guys, you have released stuff that you just are like, nothing's going to come. This isn't serving me. Like I, I'm, I'm surrendering this up. Okay. I'm hearing the song, sweet surrender is all that I have to give. So Sarah McLaughlin, that could be someone's name. Sarah McLaughlin could be someone's last name. I don't know. Maybe you're a big fan of Sarah McLaughlin. Maybe you need to listen to those lyrics. I feel like someone's going through a sweet surrender. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I'm hearing be present. So Aries, this is uh, advice. Be present. Just really like, this is about self-love just relaxation, meditation, just really taking it all in. I mean, she's stopping to literally smell the roses. There's a lot of green here. There's a lot of heart chakra, a lot of uh, fresh energy. It's it's like new growth, new life. It's about um, prosperity and fertility. I'm hearing overflowing abundance. This is about what you're attracting in, Aries. 444 four, four on the timestamp. So this is that. It's like, you know what? Like, have faith in your dreams because you are attracting something in. And I think that's what I was getting. Bottom of the deck is engagement. 
Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you guys, maybe you are um, getting engaged. <laughs> um, but I thought like this is like engagement, like engaging with someone, okay? But whatever it is, it's like your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. If you're single, you won't be single long. Someone sees you or will be seeing you or has seen you as marriage material. That's what this is. Someone's highly attracted to you, Aries. Your high vibration. Your it's like your physical, it's your your it's it's everything. It's your spiritual, your physical, your mental, your emotional. This person's attracted to like all states of you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like you guys have kind of been in this mode too of like just stopping to smell the roses. You've just been like focusing on, like I said, self-love, you know, just minding your own business, just doing you. And because of that, something here, have faith in your dreams. Dreams come true. You had faith in love. Okay. For some of you guys, you know, you, you were wondering like, will this ever happen for me? Yeah, it is. It is happening for you. You had to be, there's this isolation energy here. You had to be alone for a while to really step into this, this, this powerful, magnetic, like empress type energy. You know, she's just chilling, right? So the empress, the masculine is about like, you know, the action, the doing, the, you know, planning, the strategizing. And the feminine is like about the receiving spirituality, like just the softness, the love, the, you know what I mean? It's more of a relaxed energy here. Let's get one more for Aries, please. This is resonating, of course. Claim it as your, as your message. This is my message. I claim this. I am attracting in a uh, true love, engagement, a higher level of commitment, local control issues. This is someone who, ooh. This is someone, you know how I heard, I heard sweet surrender. This is someone who was very stubborn. This could be someone who you were with in the past, or maybe someone who has a family or, or has been married. Um, see that, see how the angels are here and they're looking down and like, this is someone who was very in their ego. This is like, I, you know, I, I, I. It's, it's a controlling, it's a, we'll let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is about lessons. This is about lessons. Okay, whether this is you or someone else, Aries, this was about lessons. I feel like this masculine energy here, whoever they are, they've been having to learn lessons. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know who this is, but maybe some of you guys don't. Maybe you meet this person. You attract them in and maybe they, they share with you, you know, their, their past, what they've been going through, you know, something has changed this person, whether it be you change this person. Okay. This person is, that was a new perspective. I feel like the divine, the angels, they're really like working overtime here. This is going to be for a, like a very small group of you, but for some of you guys, this is someone you are maybe uh, married to or in a relationship with, and you guys have taken a break, and this person is learning something here. But for the most part, I don't, I don't feel that for you guys. I, this, like I said, it's just coming through, but it's for like maybe a few of you. All right, what else do we have for Aries? So let's see here. Okay, there we go. And it, look at it, it moved the let go of control issues card. This person is very stubborn. All right, I don't know what they're what they're. Look at. King of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Their heart's been activated. King of Cups. I mean, he's the king of emotions. Love. This is someone who uh, maybe they were juggling, going back and forth. Maybe this is someone who, um, like I said, nothing will come of the situation. Maybe this is someone, whether this is you or someone else, that you connect to. Um having big self-realizations about their life, I think, like of like, nothing's gonna come of this situation. I've been going back and forth, back and forth. I've been trying to figure things out. I'm busy, like I just have so much going on. But I realize that, you know, this isn't, nothing's gonna happen here, you know? Their crown chakra is activated. This could be a water sign, earth sign. 
I'm getting Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. So this could be someone who has strong Scorpio in the chart or is a Scorpio. Or they just carry that Scorpio vibe. They're very deep. But Scorpios are very deep, right? Very deep. I mean, you got to think the underworld, Pluto, right? Like, <clears throat> but Scorpios can also be highly suspicious. They're kind of like the investigator of the Zodiac, you know, where it's kind of like, who are you? What do you want with me? You know, are you going to break my heart? You know what? I think I'm just going to, I'm good. You know what I mean? Okay. So they might embody that. I'm, I'm getting a, a lot of fear energy here. This is someone who's been going back and forth about something about you for a long, for a while, I think for most of you, this could be someone new, like I said, where they're trying to figure out maybe a way to like to talk to you, to approach you. Ten of Cups is just on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person does see you as, as you know, like a happily, like you're it. You're happily ever after. This is someone who was afraid to take a chance before, and now they're taking a chance. This is someone who wants new in their life, new adventure. This could be someone who is releasing a wife, a spouse, someone maybe that they have children with. It's someone I'm getting. They're rethinking their home dynamic. Their whole life. Look at that. Their home dynamic. Exactly. I'm getting false ten of pentacles. This is a false ten of pentacles. Nothing will come of the situation. Have faith in your dreams. I think Aries, your self-love, your beauty, your handsomeness, your chill mode, your, um, you know, self-empowerment, your, your, all that. I think this is, I think you've shown someone something here. I'm also getting like, this is someone who sees long-term with you. They, they're not playing. That's what I'm literally getting and hearing. Like they're not playing. Tell me about the King of Cups, please. The Page of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. It's because you, you, your wish fulfillment, they know that. This is someone who's just taking the leap. They're stepping off that ledge. It really is an attitude um, of, I'm getting attitude of gratitude. I do, I feel like this person is grateful for you. Um, I also feel Aries with the sign of cups, 10 of pentacles, your stability is getting increasingly stronger in your life. Okay. I feel like, you know, 10 of pentacles, there's some type of like, you know, you've completed some kind of cycle here. Finances are going to start really picking up or, or stabilizing again, or, or just, just stabilizing in a big way. And there's wishes being fulfilled for you. And I feel like this person is a part of that. Okay, I'm getting the divine plan, the destined plan. Good for you, Aries. You know? <laughs> but I'm, we, also what I'm getting is, but you guys have been through some shit. <laughs> okay? Hasn't come easy. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This is a secret admirer. This is someone who wants to just be in love with you, sweep you off your feet. This could be someone who, like, I'm getting like, I got to get it off my chest. Maybe they've been silent. This is someone who's been in a healing mode. But you've been in a healing mode too, Aries. 1313 13 on the timestamp. You've been in a healing mode as well, okay? Um, this is someone who wants to who wants to communicate, and that's what I was getting. How do I communicate? How do I like open up my heart? And you know, they're they're connected through the crown, they're feeling their 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 own, like, you know, uh like soul consciousness. Someone could live by the ocean or have a beach house, a sailboat possibly, or someone who loves to sail. I'm hearing that song by Enya, sail away, sail away. <laughs> so maybe this is it. It's like sailing away into like the horizon together, I think. Someone could literally be bringing you roses. Someone could look like this, dress like this. Okay, I'm very drawn to like the converse. Someone could wear converse or maybe you wear converse. Well, I don't know. I'm just getting that, okay? <clears throat> Tattoos. Tattoos are significant here. He has a sleeve tattoo. Um, maybe, I don't know. There's something significant about tattoos. You have tattoos. Maybe this person has tattoos. They love your tattoos. You love their tattoos. Maybe they, you know, you guys get together and it's like, hey, let's get matching tattoos. Or, you know, they want to do something to, you know, get a tattoo, like, you know, to symbolize your love or you. This is the kind of person that will do that. Knight and King of Cups. Like, this is someone who, like, I feel has had a very hard time being vulnerable, open. Like, they've lost 
love relationships in the past because of it but when it comes to you you open their heart there's some kind of like big sunshine solar plexus just blast where I, I think it's like um the strength in you help me see the strength in me or find the strength in me i'm actually going to be doing a uh a, a channel of message about kind of like that for the whole um soulmate and twin flame collective of the warrior in you inspired the warrior within me or the warrior in you sees the warrior in me or i see the warrior in me sees the warrior in you kind of a thing that's what i'm getting here you know in aries i mean in the major arcana you guys are you're the god of war mars ruled um the emperor you know it really is that kind of vibe too the warrior so and i feel like what i'm getting is like i want to be a warrior for you okay so this feels like someone who wants to protect you your heart you know, they don't want any harm to come. They they really, it's like this, like they're wrapping like a big bubble of love around you. That's literally like how I'm getting this. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I've got for you, my loves. I hope that this connects with you. Um, let me know in the comments how it does. Uh, if you guys want to book a reading, all the information is in the description box below. I just recently um, added a new 10-minute reading option and readjusted some pricing. So the pricing for 30-minute and one-hour readings are a little bit lower for generals. Um, also in the description box below is where you will find information, detailed information and how to purchase a ticket for the, uh, three, three portal Pleiadian and Jesus activation workshop that we are, that I'm going to be facilitating along with the Pleiadians and, and Yeshua and also Mary, Magd Mary Magdalene will be along with it, but it's primarily Pleiadian and Jesus. Okay. So if you want to know more about that, what the workshop is, what the activations are, it's a very, very powerful thing. This is my eighth one that I'm doing. It's actually a one year anniversary because the first one I did was on the three, three portal last March. Um, and it's just beautiful because I was guided by Jesus, uh, over a month ago to do this. I got sick in February. It, it wasn't able to happen in February. And so everything is aligned perfectly. So it's going to be very powerful. It was meant to happen on the three, three portal. Jesus was 33 when he transitioned out of his, when he fully ascended into his masterful self. Um, so there's a lot of like just very powerful numerology energy around this. But if you're interested and you're ready to level up in your spirituality, in your soul path, if you're ready to release deeply rooted stuff, um, receive some, you know, quantum healing, stuff like that. Okay. It's all below. Um, and also I am taking pre-orders. I just am bringing back my Lemurian seed crystal pendants. These are activators. These are wisdom keepers of Lemuria. Um, they hold a lot of beautiful, um, just wisdom. They're, 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 they're encoded. Okay. That's what they're, that's what these are. Right. Um, and what I do is I, uh, channel light language into them, activating them for the person and for whatever purpose that the crystal is meant to find you for. Um, they're charged under the full moon. They're cleansed under the sun. They're charged up with the sun as well. Light codes. They love the light, the light codes. Um, and they're, they're sound charged as well. So I, they're infused with like sound frequencies. Um, and I always, I, I, me personally, I've always been guided, um, when I did these before about a year and a half ago to charge them up with Lakshmi and Lord Ganesh mantras of um prosperity of abundance good fortune and removing obstacles etc um so anyways if you're interested in pre-ordering one the information is also in the description box below so i love you guys so much thank you for all of your love and support and i will see you soon bye bye